Well, Chaz, you get to, to actually spend a spring ball at wide receiver. Uh, what's uh, you know, what's this do for you this spring to actually get to go through this at wide receiver? Yeah, um, it's nice. I get to refine all my tools and I get to learn at a slower pace. I'm not just thrown right into the fire, so that's exciting. Yeah, what uh, you know, when you got through last season, what were the things that maybe you really wanted to spend some time on that you just had, didn't have the time during the season to work on? Um, probably just being a more complete receiver, not just being that deep threat as I'm titled right now. So <laughs> just uh, being a more complete receiver. You're obviously very good at being the deep threat last year. What, what enabled you to have the, you know, the consistent six? I mean, th those are hard to hit, and you guys are hitting about one every game. Uh, just knowing where to attack the defense when it comes down to it. Um, when you have speed and so many other weapons on the team, uh, it's bound for a shot to be open at least once a game. And we were just good at being able to call it at the right time in the right situation. When they brought you over, they said they brought you over for speed. Mm -hmm. to, to be able to provide that, what that mean to you to be able to, to go out and do that for your team? <laughs> That's a compliment because I know we've been working hard in the, in the weight room. And for that to transition onto the field was really uh, good to see and to feel. What have you seen from the quarterbacks? Is there a difference between the way Finley throws the ball and the way Rippon throws the ball? Any big differences there at all? Um, no, we're really consistent at quarterback right now. Um, all the balls are on the money. Well, the majority of them are. And when they aren't, we go up and make a play or we always make uh, the quarterbacks look right or the quarterbacks help us out and make uh, us look better. What was that experience like for you last year, Learn, learning a new position on the fly in the middle of a <laughs> conference race and all of that? Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was interesting. It was fun. It was something that uh, I look forward to doing every day I woke up. So buying in to something like that was an experience that I was glad I was able to uh, be a part of. What was the biggest challenge for you week to week? Uh, be, the game plan. Yeah. The game plan was definitely the most difficult. And, but once you picked up on that, it was just time to go, time to play, and that's about it. How much are you seeing your game expand the spring mm -hmm. now in terms of being able to, to run the intermediate routes and the shorter routes and do some yeah. more of that stuff? It's coming along very nicely. Um, there's always room for improvement, and I have my, my guys behind me uh, being able to, we're always helping each other and uh, working on our tools day in and day out. Those, uh, are those routes more technical than, than the deep routes? Mm -hmm. Yes, they are. But once you get a route down, it's kind of like riding a bike. Um, you can <laughs> end up doing tricks on a bike, <laughs> but when it comes down to it, it's the simple things that you have to master, and then you can put your own flavor to it. You have the, the game plan type stuff down now, yes. or are you still kind of fighting through yeah. some of that stuff? That stuff I got. You eager for this season to, to see what you can do now with, with a full year under your belt? Not just me, just the team. Yeah. I'm excited to see where we're at and how much better we've gotten since last year. Um, what, uh, you know, where have you seen yourself you know, just in these first couple of weeks? What's the biggest difference you see in, in your game? Uh, the drive. The drive has to be it. We come out every day and compete, whether it's um, an individual or in our team period or even one-on-ones. Uh, me, Spireback, the whole receiving core and the whole defense, defensive end uh, are going tough and going hard and uh, being relentless the whole practice. You got the three guys that were very productive last year back at wide receiver and then a whole bunch of young guys who haven't done a whole lot before. Uh, what do you, you see out of that bunch? They're, they're doing well. They're, doing, they're in the spot I was at last year. So being able to see that and help them and see them progressing so much uh, quicker than I did is awesome. Uh, Coach Adams is doing a, a great job getting us uh, all caught up and making sure we're all on the same page. So we'll see you on Thursday where we're at. Anybody caught your eye out of that group? Yes, uh, AJ is doing really well. Um, DMAC, Brock, everybody's uh, doing their part. We're gonna find a few guys that are, that are gonna help us in the, in the fall. So we're excited. And saw Thomas obviously have a huge second half of last season, and what, what uh, you know, what, what is it about that guy? How was he able to go from <laughs> you know right. no role to, to making so so many big plays? He's a hard worker. He doesn't take a playoff or a day off. So being able to uh, see him out there work, it just helps us and drives us. So it's good seeing him. Uh, I guess in a sense, just be be a a rabbit for us to catch. So it's awesome seeing him uh, 
be that guy. How yeah. has how's the offense gone here through the first uh, five practices? It's gone really well. Yeah. Um, we had a few low points, but the majority of them have been high. Who's gonna Who's gonna win the scrimmage on uh, Thursday? Offense, <laughs> easy. That's an easy call. What do you expect in the first scrimmage? Is it Is it kind of rough and ragged, or is um, it? I'm expecting a lot of touchdowns <laughs> and a, a lot of sad faces on the defensive side. Has there been a noticeable difference between uh, the change in coordinators from Coach Sanford to Coach Drinkwitz so far? Or? Um, no. I mean, everybody has their own little personality and their different uh, ways they're going to call plays. But for the most part, we're, uh, we're, we're, we hit the ground running. Everything is uh, smooth sailing. Had Lyle out there at the end of practice. Uh, what uh, what do you think when you see 99-year-old former right. coach on the sideline at practice? That's awesome. Um, I can't even explain how uh, dumbfounded I was because seeing him out there and still going strong and being a proud supporter of the Broncos is something that I feel isn't at every other school. So being able to uh, look out there and see the support system we have is uh, fantastic, something we really take to heart. You guys figured out at this point, mid-March, it's, it's it's time for his birthday. You start to figure that out year to yes. year. I think I think the majority of us got it. We know what's going on. 